Hello, uh, everyone. The practitioner here. Um, good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is uh, I've got a ton of information coming up, um, and I've also got my um, Valentine's Magic Special up and running. The bad news is it currently has to remain unlisted for a short period until such time as the uh, organizers of the SukinoCon Anime Convention, where I did about over half my filming um, uh, for this for the, for the Valentine's Week Magic Special. Uh, once the once the chair of the convention has finally approved it. Uh, then I can make it public. Uh, then I can then I can list it as public, and everyone can take a look at it and what have you. Um, for those of you who got an advanced sneak peek of it because I accidentally made it public at one point while dealing with a technical problem, uh, please don't spoil it for anyone else who uh, who normally uh, would watch this channel. Um, you know, and hopefully, if you guys get a chance to see it, um, I think it's my best work to date. But you know, I know that I've got a long a long ways to go before I can actually get some really good quality work out there. Now. That being said, there were a few things I wanted to cover this week uh, because of some stuff that I experienced at the convention. The first segment for this video is uh, directed at any con goers who might be watching my channel. Um, now, if what, regardless of whatever convention you are at, uh, these are a couple of, uh, of golden rules that I like uh, that, that from my own personal experience that were highly disruptive to me, and I am betting are probably highly disruptive to other people out there, uh, especially media people or people who are recording uh, uh, panels, events, or or, or even just um, or even just uh, uh, just videoing or photoing uh, individual people for posterity for their own you know for for either for their YouTube channel or for their own uh, private uh, files for later down the line. These are primarily in relation to uh, recording. Number one, if you are at a panel, please do not have side conversations while the panelists are speaking. This is very, very disrespectful uh, to the other people going on, uh, to the other people around you, because of the fact that they can't hear what is going on, what the panelists are saying. On top of that, for media people or anybody who is recording a panel or a contest or something like that, if you are having a side, if there are a ton of side conversations going on, they cannot record properly what is actually being said. And contrary to a popular opinion, there are very, very few video editors out there that will actually be able to get rid of that level of background noise well enough. For people to be able to actually hear what the panelists are saying, um, this is a this was a really big problem for me in a clip that I will be releasing later uh, uh, with regard to a local improv show that was being done at SakinoCon this year. A second problem that has come up consistently at the time that I've been in the con is a um, is a uh, is what I call um, is what I call uh, ignorant photobombing or unintentional. Well, no, it's not really unintentional photobombing. Um, I will call it. Um, I will call it uh, I will call it clueless photobombing, or or, uh, or you know basically photobombing in such a way that you're not paying attention to your surroundings, or if you are that you're not um, thinking it important enough to actually do anything with. Specifically, what I'm talking about is um, I was filming a panel uh, called Whose Line Is It Anime, which is a which was a local improv show, and I counted well maybe I, my maybe my count is a little off, but about 15 people in the midst of recording, walked right through the shot, uh, right, walked right through a shot as I was filming the stage, and I think, and, and from what I could tell, uh, every single one of them saw the camera before they walked right on through. They looked at me, they saw the camera, and they walked right on through anyway, despite the fact that I had a, a, a badge clearly stating media, and clearly I was trying to film the panel. Walking through someone's shot when they were attempting to take a photo of a cosplayer, trying to record a panel or, or doing anything else, just, you know, that's just part of recording a, a con experience, which is supposed to be a really great uh, and wonderful thing, is really not cool, okay? Because the thing is that, you know, a, a crucial element of what's being shown up on a screen or is being done in a skit or, or something else could end up being lost because, uh, you know, because somebody didn't freaking duck their head when they went past the camera. So, again... When you are wa uh, when you are uh, when you are going past when you see a camera, please either walk around the camera, or if that is unavoidable, duck your head when you pass under the camera. That would be you know that is the polite thing to do. Unfortunately, uh, it seems that like I uh, like I said, it seems that a lot of people are um, you know a lot of people are uh, are um, are uh, um, a lot of people are disrespectful in this area. Um, one of the things which uh, which happened, uh, which I don't know if it got recorded on the clip, which I'll be uploading later, um, so the only person who a I think one of only two people who actually ducked their head for the recording of the Whose Line Is It anime clip, one of them was the organizer of the clip, and I uh, you know I pointed to the camera when he saw me, and he promptly ducked his head, and I was grateful for it, 
And um, somebody else uh, had turned around and seen me and whispered at me, hey, this, um, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, had whispered at me in a, in a stage whisper, hey, that's the organizer of the con, cut him, uh, that's the organizer of the, uh, of the panel, cut him some slack. As in, you know, as in basically he didn't have to duck his head because he was organizing it. The point is, he was considerate enough to duck his head. That, you know, like that, that's the point is, you know, he was considerate enough to do so. Apparently, large numbers of people were not. Now, I had a sl the third problem I wanted to I wanted to talk uh, I wanted to mention was another um, issue. Now, normally it is called it is is polite etiquette when you're at a convention to um, go away to a side place where you're not obstructing traffic or anything like that, so that if you're taking a photo or doing a video interview or something along those lines, you're not deliberately obstructing the uh, uh, you're not deliberately obstructing the pathway, or at least you're you know even with the crowds, you're at least giving them some degree of space to move about. People see the camera and still either walk through the shot or knock the tripod. The tripod is, you know, now, assuming that I've done the very best I possibly can to, um, you know, to move, you know, to, to, uh, to follow etiquette and to try to keep the camera out of the way so this way I can do the filming while giving people a free reign to walk about or do whatever, it is common courtesy for the other person to keep an eye out. Now, accidentally tripping over the tripod is one thing. But if you are walking up and you see the tripod and you still knock it or trip over it or some crap like that and you're not carrying hefty bags or your cosplay is not some big elaborate costume uh, or, you're, you know, you have no, or you're not falling off balance for any particular reason, don't knock the tripod. Don't, you know, um, don't, or, or don't try to disrupt the shot you know, uh, uh, when somebody's filming or taking a photo. It is, you know, it is, not, it is inappropriate and it is disrespectful. Particularly because of the fact that often when people in, uh, are being interviewed or are being recorded or are being photographed, they are often being recorded or photographed largely because of the fact that they are a, uh, you know, they, they are a, um, they are an artist or a panelist who is showing something off that is particularly interesting, such as a really well done cosplay uh, or their opinions on a particular thing on a particular franchise. Uh, or they are uh, a panelist uh, uh, either performing some really cool entertainment that is themed to the genre, uh, or they are talking about their experience as an actor or as a producer or, or somebody working inside a particular uh, um, genre in sci-fi or anime or cr game creation or whatever your nerd, uh, whatever nerd thing takes your fancy. The key point is, is that they are trying to communicate a very, uh, what they perceive to be an interesting um, interesting uh, 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 phenomenon or interesting thing that they've come up with and a large and the other people who have come to to see it or to record it or what have you agree that it is interesting therefore by deliberately disrupting the recording you are disrupting a communication between two people of what is uh, of what is interesting you know uh, of what they consider interesting you're infringing on their right to enjoy the con and the whole point is that they're supposed to enjoy the con just as much as you are you know, uh, you do not have some, you know, I don't care what kind of past you have, you do not have some special right to treat other people at the con like crap by photobombing them or, or disrupting their recording or other stuff like that. So please, try to be at least a little bit respectful. Duck your head when you see a camera recording. Uh, don't walk through a shot when a photo is going off. If you see a tripod, at least try to avoid it. Don't have side conversations when a, when a video is being recorded, um, you know, uh, especially at a panel. You know, a little common decency, a little common sense, a little common decency, and a little etiquette goes a long way in making a uh, in making your in making a convention experience as enjoyable for everyone else as it is for you. And if you're a troll, don't bother going to conventions. They're not the place for you. Trolling is more appropriate online anyway. I mean, isn't that the whole point of why we've got you know uh, why we've got spam comments on YouTube? Anyway, all that being aside, I just wanted to relay these particular issues. Now, a um, couple of other things I wanted to mention. Uh, number one, uh, I now have a life-size TARDIS. Um, I can't show it in the shot because it's currently, uh, it's currently packed up in a duffel bag, uh, but I will be posting videos in the upcoming little while uh, of the life-size TARDIS uh, once, it's fully, uh, once I've got it fully inflated again on location somewhere. Uh, and I'll probably be filming some Doctor Who-based uh, magic stuff, uh, some Doctor Who-related pranks, possibly even a couple of Doctor Who fan films as part of my ongoing nerd stuff. Uh, with that in mind, I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to mention something. If you are in Victoria or in the Vancouver Island, the surrounding area, and you can make transport to Victoria, um, you know, if you're, in the, if you're on the Vancouver Island or the Sunshine Coast, or if you can make it to Victoria, 
and would like to take part in one of my filming projects. Um, I am up and uh, I am completely uh, doing an open casting call at this point for any of my future uh, projects. So leave a comment below uh, with your email address. Uh, just remember to put the, uh, the word dot in brackets to let me know that that's actually the dot com because I know that uh, YouTube won't allow you to post email addresses or website or web links for some reason in the, uh, in the, in the comment section. But anyway, post that with your contact info, and um, and you know, uh, and I'll you know, and give me a little heads up uh, roughly when you're coming into Victoria, and I'll email you with uh, relevant stuff that I'm doing, and if it's of interest to you, uh, we can talk via email, and uh, you know, see what happens. So yeah, uh, call us a general open casting call for if you're coming up to Victoria, British Columbia way. Uh, if you want to appear in one of my future videos, uh, by all means, and especially if you're a fellow YouTuber uh, who has also produced videos, uh, you'll get a shout out on my channel. Now, I also want to give a couple of other shout-outs, uh, number one of which is I'd like to thank Curious Comics for having uh, not only sold me uh, the um, life-size inflatable TARDIS, or near-life-size inflatable TARDIS, uh, but I'd also like to thank them for having dealt with a technical problem with it. Uh, the first one I bought from them had a, uh, an air leak in it, which came, with the manuf uh, which came when it was manufactured, uh, but they were, quite willing to, uh, uh, they were quite willing to quickly exchange it for the, uh, for the only other one in town that they had. I think it's like the only, I think, besides like one other I've heard about, I think there are only like three inflatable TARDISes in town. Uh, one of them is currently at the Curious Comics shop, the one, the defective one that I bought. Uh, the second one is the, uh, is the one uh, that actually does work, that is currently in my possession. And I heard about someone else, uh, a friend of a friend of mine, who might have one as well. Uh, those are the only three that I know of in town. So this is a rare item, and uh, it cost me a pretty penny to get, but it's worth it. Uh, I also finally broke down and bought myself a GoPro. So uh, I will be doing some uh, first-person uh, uh, footage with that in the upcoming days and stuff like that. I've got some clips I've already, uh, uh, some test clips I've already filmed, and I'll be posting those forthwith in the upcoming weeks and what have you, uh, once I've got some editing done all that and all that jazz, and you know what I mean. Um, once, uh, so with all that in mind, um, oh, and by the way, uh, one final thing. Uh, Goticon, the local uh, gaming convention for Victoria, uh, will be happening from February 28th to March 2nd of 2014, so that's in four days from now. Uh, I will be posting links uh, to, uh, to, the, uh, to both Curious Comics and Goticon down on the page below, as well as the KinoCon Facebook page. Uh, and finally, um, I'd, like to also, uh, do, I'd like to also make one more reference. Uh, this one, sadly, is a bit more political and a bit more um, concerning. Um, Stephen Harper has apparently been doing some controversial things, I'll say, uh, particularly with uh, he's been shutting down low, he's been shutting down libraries for the Department of Fisheries and Oceans and uh, gutting them out. Uh, he has been uh, mo he has been reforming electoral laws uh, specifically because uh, uh, because of claims of voter fraud, which uh, apparently a MP recently backtracked on his claims of. Uh, that's posted in my Facebook feed. Uh, there is also concerns apparently about how he is trying to. Um, he is apparently trying to decimate Medicare and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying I, which way I support it one way or the other. I'm just simply saying that these are, apparent, like I said, apparently these have been creating some controversy. And so I thought it would be appropriate to uh, post the links on my Facebook page as, a, as part of my shared feed. I will be posting my, uh, my Facebook page down, on the, uh, down in the links below. And for anyone who is Canadian and has an interest in science or politics or both, I would advise taking a look at my Facebook feed for probably the last 30 posts I've put up, uh, give or take, and check for, all the, uh, check for all the ones that are politically oriented and take a look at them. Now, I'm not saying that this automatically, uh, I'm not saying I automatically agree with anything that's in the articles or even disagree with them, but I am saying that I think they are worth reading, so that this way, um, if you are a Canadian voter who wants to make a, um, a decision regarding politics or what have you, at the very least you can read the articles I've posted and make an informed decision, or at least a slightly more informed decision, um, one way or the other. Uh, also, if you happen to be on Facebook and you go through my articles and you find one that is uh, wrong uh, or has uh, flawed logic in it or something like that, uh, leave a comment in the comments section uh, of that article link on my Facebook to let me know uh, what, any, uh, what if any problems you have with it so that this way a dialogue can be started on the issues that I've brought the articles up for. Anyway, I think that pretty much covers everything. Uh, check the links in the description below. Uh, if you're in the Victoria area and would like to take part in one of my video projects, um, you know, I've got a number of them coming up. Um, you know, if you want to get your 15 minutes of fame um, and not sure elsewise how to do it, uh, you know, feel free to drop, a, uh, drop, a, uh, drop your email on, in the comments section below, and um, we'll talk details at a later point. Here's hoping that I'll be able to uh, make the, uh, the Valentine's Magic special public soon. Uh, but in the meantime, 
keep the fight going, guys, and I'll catch you later.